y'all. Back, but I'm so sorry that I have been going for a little longer than I should be. I have been dealing with troubles with my eye. Um, it's going down. I still feel a little um, pain in it, but ever so often I get these ugly little bumps along my um, lash line. So that's what's been stopping me from posting the videos because I didn't want to get an eye style or a six video. I will be doing a taking your day look to night look. So if you have not seen my video, um, my past video, it's a 15 minute makeup routine. That is my day look, my everyday day look that I go to no matter where I have to go. Um, that's the routine that I'm always going to that video. I will link it in the description box if you would like to see it. So I won't be showing everything from that routine because I'm Okay, so this is my normal day look. Nothing too shabby, no shadow, just lashes, eyebrows, and then my contour highlight. Now one thing that I do want to add that um, during the daytime, I do not use foundation only because I don't want anything too heavy on my face. So what I do is I prime my face with uh, the Black Radiance True Complexion Shine Control Primer. And this just keeps me mattified throughout the day. And then what I do is I use my um, LA Girl HD Pro Concealer and the color font and I apply the concealer under eye and then now I've started using the makeup revolution I accidentally brought the wrong shade I was trying to find a highlighter shade um, but I brought the wrong shade but it worked out good because in the um, it's the revolution makeup revolution London conceal and define full coverage conceal and contour this is in the shade c16 i don't remember ordering 16 but maybe i did but um this is the shade and it actually goes with my skin color so what i've done was instead of not using it and wasting money um i applied the la girl fawn on the inner skirts of my um, face and then on the outer skirts I did this color and I um, blended it all with my Morphe M44 brush um, and then I went in with my beauty sponge and just made sure that I blended it all together and then I tried out the it's my Ray Ray contour palette and I will say, y'all, it is bomb. As you can see, I used um, the highlight and I used the contour. My blush, though, I used the Black Radiance Toasted Almond. I love this blush when I'm going for more a more natural look. But um, my contour, this is a little too grayish for my taste. So I mixed brownie bite and mocha for my contour and i like it so i mixed those two and then for my highlighter i mixed french toast and radiance i mixed those two for my highlight so this section is bomb new routine and i will be doing that using my palette that i just brought by bh cosmetics and it's, it's my Ray Ray palette. And I have been trying to buy this for the longest, but it was always out of stock. And this is the contour um, down here. And then the highlights or the, um, yeah, contour, is it? Let me make sure. Yeah, the highlight and contour palette is in this section. And... You get a mirror, which is a plus. And then these are all the shadows. Yes. 
Starting with the color Spice out of the It's My Ray Ray and BH Cosmetics palette, I am using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dual Ended brush. On one end is a fluffy blender brush and on the other end is a shader brush. I am starting with that shade as a transition. Um, you kind of want to go with a lighter matte color as your transition and just applying that over the lid. And what I like about this palette also is that it does not have fallout so you don't have to worry about it falling onto your lashes. Next, I am using the color Midnight. Yes, that's little Micah. <laughs> and I am applying the shade Midnight all over my lid. I do like this color because it's a cross between a green and a gray. Um, so it's not taking me too dark, but it's taking me you know dark enough to where it can pass as a nighttime look and I'm telling y'all like you really do need this palette it is it's awesome like she was a genius for coming up with this palette and just applying that all over my lid and this look literally took all of 10 minutes i mean the video you know itself is more than 10 minutes of course but with all the editing and the talking but minus that it took all of 10 minutes for me to do this look and it's nothing that we have to do like perfect where it's a cut crease and all of that where the lines have to be straight and on the outer v i'm applying the color black beauty it's like a dark blue type of color like a dark bluish greenish color and I'm just applying that to the outer V and then next I'm just looking for a dual ended sponge applicator and I am going to get the color angel out of that palette and I'm just going to apply that color center lid oh. to create a halo eye and I love these type of looks especially when you know, you want to hurry up and get done with your look and move on with your day. And as you can see, inside the palette, it looks white. But what I like is when you apply it, as you can see, it comes, it appears gold. So I thought that was very unique. And then the sponge applicator is also good. If you don't, you know, want to get your hands messy or whatever, because you want to be right out the door after you get finished with this look. <laughs> and going back into that other brush, what I'm just going to do is blend out um, the edges of that look just to eliminate any harsh lines and it's all blended together. Again, this look is supposed to look effortless. Can't forget about the lower lid. So I am just applying the rest of the color Midnight that was on my shader brush to my lower lid. Um, just to smoke out my lid. That way the look comes all the way together. Yeah, that's still Micah on the move. <laughs> Being greedy. But I am just smoking out my lower lid. And yeah, you know, just bringing the look together. And then just getting ready to... Um, use my Maybelline New York oh sorry I'm moving ahead of myself next I am doing my inner corner highlight and what shade am I using let me see I am using the highlighter shade and it's the color moonlight and I'm applying that to my inner corners and my eyebrow bone to highlight I am going to take my BH Cosmetics Waterproof Lip Liner, and this is in the shade Rouge. And let me get a mirror. Okay, and I tend to grab the tour towards 
colors like this and I am just going to use my Elf and Alyssa Ashley collab and this is um, one of her, well not one, her only gloss that she came out with and it's called Nude Rose and I'm just going to put that in center, in the center. And then I think, sorry, I got my stuff over here. I'm going with that cherry tree. It's a little bit lighter. I'm just going to put it in the very center. And that's just to make your lips look a little bit more plump. You know, make it look nice. Use my um, Great Lash Maybelline New York mascara and just do my lower lash. And if you want to add a little highlight, you can. I'm just going to use the rest that's on my brush and just apply right here. You don't have to go back and dip into the product. You just use what's left on the brush. And because I always use this as a highlight brush anyway, I knew it probably had some on there. You just add it to you. Glow a little bit. And so, this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. I don't know why I'm getting watery like that, but whatever. And yeah, nothing too shabby, you know. Nighttime look, you know, you want to go and you want to leave out as soon as possible and start your fun. So, you know, so I say this will take you 15 minutes if you have to go to the hotel or your room or your home. And, you know spruce up a little bit um if you guys would like to see a video even with the clothes where you can take it from your daytime outfit to your nighttime outfit let me know it's very simple you know nothing too shabby you know instead of your flats during the day you can do your heels at night you know instead of just a dress shirt during the day you know you can put on a blazer at night or you know or you know, if you wear slacks during the day, you know, you can put on your jeans, your blazer, a nice t-shirt, some dangly, sparkly earrings for the daytime. You may, I mean, nighttime, you may do your studs for the daytime. It's just plenty of ways that, why is that doing that? Anyway, um, it's just plenty of ways you can take your day look to night look. I love those type of looks because it's very convenient especially for me being a mom if I have to go anywhere or dinner and I've been all, you know out all day with the kids um, I love looks like that because it's very convenient and it's very fun you know and it's very versatile and I love looks that are versatile I love you know items or clothing that one piece of clothing and I can make a bajillion outfits out of it so yeah if you guys want to have fun with the channel and do stuff like that with the clothes i am totally more than happy to do that because i love clothes i love fashion i love all things beauty 
and I hope you guys like this look minus this eye really giving me troubles and if so feel free to give me a thumbs up I thank you guys and I will talk to you sooner than you think and don't forget to follow me on social media where you know I'm gonna try to post a little bit more on there thank you guys so much for your patience your love and your support until next time peace